In this lecture, I will show you how you can extract certain characters from a string value. So let's go to SQL Server and see how it works. So first, I am going to write a select statement to select data from person table. So select star from person dot person. Go ahead and execute it. And here you have all the records. Let's say you want to hide a person's last name and only use the first character when you pull the data out. First, I'm going to change this to first name, last name, and let's go ahead and execute this. Now I'm going to add another column that contains the first character of the last name. There is an inbuilt function called left. So go ahead and write left, and then open parenthesis. This is how you use inbuilt functions. And as you write, you will see that it provides you the options. That means it takes one and two values. First is your string value that you want to extract the characters from. So in this case, it's last name. So go ahead and type last name. And then you have to provide number of characters that you want to return starting from left. So I'm going to use one. And go ahead and close the parenthesis. Give an alias as last initial and close it in double quotes. And that's it. For clarity of SQL, I'm going to move from to the next line so that it's easy to read. Go ahead and execute it. Here you can see the last initial. In this case, it's B and keep going down. Here you can see it. If you change the number of characters to three and execute it, now you can see the three characters, ABB, ABE, and so on, ANA. So that's how you use left. Another way to extract those characters is by using a substring. So I am going to add another column. So go ahead and type comma, and let's go to the next line so that it's easy to read, and then type substring. Substring. Substring is another built-in function that takes three values. First value is the column that you want to use to extract the value from. In this case, again, it's last name. Next, you have to provide where do you want to start extracting the values from. It will start from position one and then number of characters that you want to extract. So we'll call it one. All it's saying is from this column, start from position number one and extract one character. Let's call this one as last initial substring so that we know we are using substring here. Go ahead and execute it. And here you have the one character. Now let's go ahead and change this to three characters again and execute it. Here you can see these values. If I change the starting position to number two, you will get a different set of values. So that means start from number two and extract three characters. In first case, it will be BBA. So go ahead and execute it and you can see BBA. Start from second position and extract three characters. That's what substring does. Similar to left, there is another function called right. So let's go ahead and write that. Right, again, give it the column that you want to use, last name, and then number of characters that you want to extract starting from right. If I give three, then for the first row, it's going to bring BAS. It'll start from here and go back three and give you that string. So let's go ahead and execute it and you can see it's BAS. 
These are the three characters starting from the right hand side. So this is how you extract values from a string column or just any string value.